Hello and welcome back to Math 301 Combinatorics at CSU. Today's topic is combinations, so this is the start of chapter three in the book. And in order to give an example that illustrates a lot of the different types of combinations that we're going to be counting, I want to tell a little story about a recent home improvement job that we had to do. So this is my front door of our house. It used to be this color, which is the color of our back door currently. When we bought this house, the, the door was this bright yellow and the previous owners had painted it bright yellow without the approval of the homeowners association. And the homeowners association told us that we must repaint our front door. And so we had to submit paint colors to the association to see is this one acceptable. And then we had to paint our door. So our front door is all a nice red color now, um, but we left the shocking bright neon yellow in the back door because they haven't seen it or noticed it and uh, we're not gonna paint it unless we have to. So uh, today's theme is going to be about coloring doors. I'm going to use that as an example for uh, the, the combinations that we're going to be talking about today. So let's start here with what is a combination. So the, the word combinatorics comes from combinations. This is one of the most classical types of counting problems that uh, you can encounter. So the question is, how many ways can you choose k things from n things? And we've seen this kind of thing in some contexts before. But we remember it depends on what you mean. So there's kind of two parameters we have to decide. Does the order matter in the way that we're choosing the k things? Are you lining them up or are you just putting them in a bag? And are repeats allowed? Can you choose the same thing from the n things more than once? Is that allowed? So those things will change the answer to how many ways can you choose k things from n things. And so today we're gonna see an example using painting doors that uh, takes into account all four possibilities of whether the answers to these questions are yes or no. So let's consider the first following setup. Say you have three doors that need to be painted and the simple hardware store sells only six different colors of paint, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So just the colors of the rainbow, a very simple hardware store, they don't have different shades. And say you need one bucket per door. So when you go to the hardware store, you're gonna buy uh, buckets of paint, one for each door, that's the amount of paint you need. So, First question, how many ways can you buy three different colors of paint from simple hardware? So there's six possibilities and we're choosing three. And the questions we wanna ask ourselves is, does order matter and are repeats allowed in this question? So um, we're choosing three from six, but in what way? Well, order does not matter because we're just buying three and putting them in the checkout counter. It doesn't matter what order you ring them up in. And then are repeats allowed? No, we said different colors of paint from simple hardware. So we're just enforcing, you know, based on the way the question was phrased, we know that order does not matter and repeats are not allowed. And we've seen this kind of question before. This is exactly what n choose k means. So we've seen um, binomial coefficients, and this is an example where in this case we have six choose three. And so we can compute this using our formula that we had in chapter one. So six factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one. Then you divide by three factorial and six minus three factorial. So three times two times one and another three factorial there. The three factorials cancel here on the top and bottom. And then the other three factorial cancels with six. And so we just get five times four and that's 20. So six choose three is 20. That's an answer to this question. Um, and now let's see how it's different if we change the order matters or repeats aloud to some yeses. For instance, now say, how many ways can you buy three cans of paint where you're allowed to choose the same color twice? So maybe I want two purple doors and one yellow. Well, now this is a bit of a different question because now order still doesn't matter. That's still no. But now repeats are allowed. So we've changed that no to a yes. And in this question, this actually changes the answer uh, to how many ways can you buy the paint. So one way we can approach this is using cases. So the uh, one, one way we could say is how many of these are the same versus different. So first let's count the case where they're all different. We just did that in the previous problem. If all the colors are different, then there's just six choose three or 20 ways of choosing them. Now say two of them are the same and one of them is different, like in this picture. Well, then there's, there's gonna be six ways of choosing what color the two that are the same are. And once I choose those, then there's five ways of choosing uh, the, the next color that's different from those two. And so there's 30 possibilities in that case. And then the final case is when all three cans have the same color. So maybe you wanna paint all your doors the same color. Um, and if you wanna do that, then there's just six possibilities because there's only six colors you can buy. 
And so altogether, we add these up, 20 plus 30 plus 6, and we get 56. Now we'll see a, a formula for calculating this case uh, easier later in the week, but um, this is this is how one way we could do it with casework. So here's another variant. Now we want to understand what happens when order matters, right? So how many ways can you paint the three doors three different colors purchased from Simple Hardware? Well, there's an ordering to these doors. It's different if I color this one red and this one green versus this one green and this one red. So that means that order actually matters here in the way I'm, I'm choosing to paint. I'm not just buying three buckets, I'm actually choosing which one I'm painting on which door. So the order matters in choosing the three colors and repeats are not allowed because it says in the problem there's three different colors. So now let's just, I'll just label on the door how many possibilities there are. So there's six possibilities for the first color and then five for the next once you've chosen that because we want it to be different and then four for the final door once you've chosen these two colors. So altogether, there's six times five times four by the multiplication principle, and that is 120 possibilities. So again, we change these parameters again to yes and no this time, and we got a different answer than either of the previous two answers. We're still choosing three things from six things, but in a different way. And finally, here's the final possibility. If we want order matters and repeats are allowed, well, now it's just the right question is how many ways can you paint the doors using cans bought from Simple Hardware? So we have no restrictions on how many times we use a color, um, but order still matters because, you know, the doors are still lined up. So it is a, a sequence of colors, order matters, and repeats are allowed. This is actually the simplest case, believe it or not, even though there's the most possibilities. So in terms of counting, there's six possibilities for each door. And so there's just six times six times six or 216 possibilities for how to do this. So again, a different answer than all the other answers we've gotten before. So let's summarize this in a table. So how many ways can we choose three colors out of six colors? Well, it depends what you mean. Is, are you choosing with order or not with order? And are your colors all distinct or can you have repeats? And so I've put the answers we've gotten throughout this lecture in this table, 20, 56, 120, and 216. And you see they're all very different. And so the goal of this week is gonna be filling in this table in general with a formula in terms of NK for each one of those. So now you try, make sure you understand the distinction between order matters and order doesn't, and uh, distinct or repeats allowed. So the, what, and try it for the number of ways to choose three things from five things. So that's all we have for today, and I will see you next time.